What's up YouTube, this is LDS Reliance. Today I want to test out this NOCO Genius battery charger again. So I've got, the next test I want to put it through is with a car with a dead battery. This is my son's project car, you may have seen it in a previous video. And we leave it sitting for a while because he's not 16, he's not able to drive yet. And we just don't do a very good job of driving it regularly to keep the battery topped off. So. What I want to do, first of all, I want to demonstrate how dead this thing is. So anyway, what I want to do is I want to test the repair function on this battery charger and see if it can work a miracle. Now, I'm not really expecting it to do this, to do so, but you never know. And if it is a genius, I will give it r lots of credit. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to now hook up the NOCO to the battery. I'm going to let it run in the repair charge mode overnight. I'm going to disconnect this in the morning. And then I'm going to let it sit all day to rest. And then I'll test the voltage again later in the day when I get home from work. And I will see if it can actually charge, start the car under its own power. Okay, so we've got the NOCO Genius, and this is the G7200 for anyone who hasn't seen the previous video. So we're going to go ahead and get this connected to the battery here, and we'll get it started up. Okay, so here we got it all connected, so we're going to hit the mode button to switch modes to 12 volt repair. So, like I said, I'm going to let that run overnight, and we'll come back in the morning and disconnect it. Okay, it's the next uh, late afternoon, evening, and I wanted to show you what, what's happening here. As you can see, the repair light is blinking. Uh, there's a diagnostic code going on here. I tried, I left this go, go overnight, and then started it up again in the morning, let it run all day at work, came home, started up a normal charge, the 12 volt normal, and still here we are a um, couple hours later and it's still not working. So if you're new to my channel, I show off as many failures as I can. I'm not the one to make a lot of cuts and edits and make myself look better or make it sound like I know more about what I'm talking about than I do. I don't know everything. I honestly didn't know what was going to happen with this thing. I was hopeful, but, but I didn't really think that it was going to bring this battery back to life. I mean, 9.8 volts or whatever is a dead, dead battery. Um, I was hopeful maybe that it would kind of restore it to partial health, maybe get it to at least start the, the car one time or something like that, but I definitely knew it wasn't going to be, be you know, good as new. So anyway, um, I still do like this product. Um, I don't know what the limitations are of the repair uh, function, whether, you know, how, how damaged or how sulfated a battery can be and be brought back to semi-function or not. I guess we'll have to try on a little bit better battery in the future. But uh, it will not work miracles, people. It will not uh, bring a completely dead car battery back to life. So, in conclusion, clearly this will not work miracles. Um, we'll test it out with the lithium battery next and see what it can do with that, but thanks for watching, guys. For more product testing and review videos in the future, hit subscribe.